What's up YouTube, this is CSX Derivative, and I'm bringing you my guide to defeating Jason Amir. It's not really a guide, I guess, because I do a pretty cheap tactic in it, but uh, I hope this will help you out a little bit to get some strategies down. Uh, I realized, I guess, uh, early on that you could carry turrets. Uh, they're a heavy item, so you have to have the arm augmentation in order to do it. But I knew I'd be running into a lot of guards, so I figured I might as well take it along. And then it happened to be that I ran into Jason Amir instead. So <laughs> it worked out pretty well for me. So after a few tries, I figured out where the best place to put my turret was. Put it right there, right in the middle. Uh, and I found this little strategy where, uh, using my eye augmentation where I can see through the walls and stuff, I just keep a track of him and then reveal him right in front of my turret using the shotgun or another weapon. I end up using the revolver with explosive rounds because it's more effective, but the shotgun works a little bit okay oh, also. And so I went ahead and uh, just hid behind that one wall right there, and that worked fine until he starts throwing grenades at you. And that one wall right there is a pretty key point in the map because he doesn't seem to understand that running around you and getting from behind would be a lot better of a strategy. So you can go ahead and just stay there for the entire time, of course, until he throws grenades. And he hops over that middle wall when you stand there. He doesn't hop uh, over the side walls. So you know he's going to be either to your left or to your right. And I would always just wait, of course, until he goes to the right where my turret's waiting for him. And so I barely get a few, any bullets on him. And I actually take a lot more damage because of his plasma rifle. That plasma rifle is uh, really hard to deal with because it's a two-shot gun. And if you get caught around the corner with him, uh, you're going to be killed right away. And so, a key to defeating Jason, I guess, if you aren't using a turret, <laughs> is uh, go ahead and make sure uh, you don't get two-shotted by staying in spots and tracking his shadows. Uh, don't run around too much, because if you run around too much, you're going to be dealing with a lot more crap than you need to. Uh, I also know that this has my augmentation still in. I didn't feel like going to a limb clinic and wasting my time when it was time to get the augment. So I happened to avoid that little, uh, that little uh, glitch in the road. And so it made my gameplay a bit easier, I suppose. And I recommend not getting that augmentation just because it will make your gameplay easier. I know people are saying on YouTube, on other people's videos, oh, well, you're a pussy if you don't do that. Well, I mean, no, you're just trying to get the achievement, trying to get through this boss. <laughs> and so uh, just because you're making the game easier for himself doesn't mean anything bad on your part. I mean, you've seen my other videos, If uh, hopefully you've seen my other videos if you haven't, go check them out, where I defeated uh, Barrett with only a few barrels and five shotgun shells. So I'm not trying to make this as easy as possible. I just happened to get a very easy draw with this boss right here. And so hopefully if uh, you have a shotgun or a revolver with explosive rounds or something like that, because the uh, cloaking uh, doesn't make it very easy to use a machine pistol or a, or a assault rifle and the plasma rifle makes the heavy rifle inefficient because you can't get around the corner in time in order to get shots on him with the rev up because he's going to kill you first don't use the heavy rifle the heavy rifle does not work with this guy unless you happen to get him in the open and even if you get him in the open he's quick on the trigger he's quick at getting getting uh, shots off on you and so as you can see right here hopefully uh, once again my adobe doesn't work very well so it's hard to see but i think i've just killed him or at least the turrets just killed him. I didn't really shoot him for the last bullet. And then it teleports everybody back here. And this is actually a glitch as well. Because I checked out the area later and there were two plasma rifles, not one. A plasma rifle where you killed him and a plasma rifle next to his body. So that's an interesting glitch, I suppose. You can get double the plasma for one kill. And it ends with a cutscene. He tells you never get back what you love. And sad, sad, sad. He loved Elena probably or something like that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> and uh, please be sure to like, subscribe, and favorite. And I will be releasing more videos soon. Probably a practice kit guide or something like that. So uh, see you guys later.